I gotta say, I was really excited for tonight's Oilers-Leafs game. So many storylines. The Leafs on a losing skid. The Oilers, the exact opposite, 10 in a row. Matthews, however, one of the hottest players in the NHL. Well, for the Oilers, not only is Connor McDavid doing McDavid things, but Zach Hyman, career year. And man, on Hyman, he had one of the goals of the year called back, and it was heartbreaking. Halfway through the second, the Leafs were up 2-0. Hyman gets the puck off a bounce, dances across the blue line, gets separation, Cuts outside, then back in, and absolutely roofs it. Just a phenomenal goal. The only problem is, it was offside. Anyway, the Leafs would go up early, just 30 seconds into the game. Guess who? The mustache man himself, Austin Matthews. He has 34 goals on the year. He's almost on pace for a 70-goal season. Like, he's not going to do it, but the fact that he's so close is ludicrous. I mean, what am I saying? He could do it. Who knows? Then, in the second, there'd be a mess in front, and Riley would pick up a loose puck in shovel it home. Almost immediately after, it'd be the Zach Hyman no goal but with five minutes left in the second, Leon Dreisaitl would score a goal that probably shouldn't have went in. Definitely some nice passing by Edmonton but if you're Jones, you gotta hold the post there, I think. Not a goalie though, what do I know? The Oilers in the late second and the early third were just blasting slap shots on net. I thought that's how they were going to tie it up, but no, it'd be Derek Ryan who manages to hold position in front of the net, batting home a nice feed. The game was tied. I don't know if you're cheering for the Leafs, you can't have a lot of confidence right now based on how they've been playing. The Oilers, on the other hand, are firing on all cylinders, and with three minutes left, they'd score. This was an interesting goal. I honestly think McDavid took so much pressure on this play, just being tied up and going in front of the net, which isn't some place he usually goes. With all eyes on him, McLeod is able to hook around the net and shoot one home. 3-2. Add an empty netter, and that's the game for the Oilers. This has been definitely a tough stretch for Leafs fans. Like, how's everyone feeling about the Nylander contract right now? I didn't notice him at all tonight, and the Leafs are just blowing leads. I don't know if they're taking pressure off, if they need to consider a coaching change, but like, the playoffs aren't guaranteed right now. Last game, they were up 2-1, lost 4-2. The game before that, they were up 3-0 in the first, lost 5-3. Prior to that, 3-1, lost 4-3. I don't know, maybe we're starting to see a bit of a trend here. I don't know, Leafs fans, Edmonton fans, let me know what you think about your respective teams down below.